Well, it was 35 years ago, but I still remember the date. It was the 13th of October, 1987, that I first came to this place, Soy Cowboy. At that time, I'd already been in Thailand for two and a half months, and I kept hearing about this place called Soy Cowboy, and I remember thinking, what a strange name for a place. And uh, for some reason, you know, we used to go to Pat Pong, and, and we never actually got round to coming down here until that day. And there was only a few days left before we had to go go home, and we were just we had just had such a great night. We had the most incredible night that I've still got great memories of. Hey, Mister Nakrong Peng, And uh, it was one of our biggest regrets of the whole trip that we discovered this place so late. Uh, I don't get there anywhere near so often these days as I used to, and and there've been a lot of changes. But I'm going to uh, I'm going to take a stroll down there and and see what I remember, see what's different. Right, just going to uh, just going to take a walk down Soy Cowboy. It's the first time I've done this for three or four years. Well, it's all right. It seems quite lively. One of my favourite bars was Apache Bar, which I'm pretty sure was here. I've got some, uh, I've got some good pictures that I took outside this bar, as, as well as some I took inside of it. Ah, and this is the uh, the legendary Tilak Bar. 35 years after my first visit, I'm going to have to pop in there and have a drink in a bit, just for old times' sake. Now, uh, Cowboy 2, I'm pretty sure that 30 years ago it was called Annie's Cowboy, this bar. And uh, my good friend Gob, who I haven't met for 25 years and hopefully I'll be meeting up with tomorrow, uh, he used to manage this bar. And here we have the after school bar which has the, uh, the Naughty Boys Corner. I, I wonder if it still has the Naughty Boys Corner. One of my thoughts is that, that Soy Cowboy, the bars are kind of encroached on the soy a bit now, you know, the frontage has been expanded. Uh, my, my memory is that it used to be a little bit wider than this. Susie Wong's, that's been here for quite a while. Ladyboy Bar, don't recall that one in the past. Midnight, Midnight Bar, I think maybe, maybe it was that black and white before? Oh, I don't know, you know, my... My days of being a regular here are, are long gone. <laughs> and here's uh, two of my favourite bars. Uh, Toy Bar, which is one I can certainly remember from like the early 90s. And Long Gun Bar, which I seem to recall it opening in the early 90s, maybe towards the mid 90s. Probably my favourite bar on Soy Cowboy. It's been at least four years since I've been here. Again, another place I'm going to have to nip inside and have a drink. I just had a drink in Long Gun, and while I was in that, it reminded me of time here in the mid 90s where I went with a friend of mine called George. Now, George was gay and he brought his Thai boyfriend with him. And I knew in them days they used to use the, uh, the girls used to use the, the men's toilets as a changing room. And I knew this, and I was trying to get George's boyfriend to go and have a look. <laughs> and eventually he sort of like decided to go and have a look, and he was in there for about 20 minutes. And, and George was getting really suspicious and irate, you know, where is he? Why is it taking so long? <laughs> I, I don't think George's boyfriend was as gay as George thought he was. It's all right, it's quite a buzzing atmosphere, really. I remember one night about 30 years ago, I came here, saw a cowboy with a good friend of mine called John, and uh, we, we, <laughs> we'd had a great night, and we come out, and what we used to do was, you get all these guys uh, who used to wait at the entrance of the soy, you know, you get all the tuk-tuk drivers, and the taxi drivers. And uh, they had a bit of reputation because, they, you know, I guess because they killed, they'd always kind of bargain hard. So I always found it was better to just wait until all the traffic had stopped at the traffic lights at the junction with Sukhumvit here, 
and just walk out into the road when the traffic has stopped and just jump in a taxi, you know, and then they just put the meter on and, uh, you know, it, it saved all the hassle and negotiating. Now, one day, we decided we wanted to go from here to Pat Pong. So we left and we did the usual trick. We waited until the lights were red and then I walked into the middle of the road and the taxi driver went open it, so I walked round to the driver's door <laughs> and I said to him, we want to go to Pat Pong, and he said, where, you know, and I'm talking to him, he, he said, where's Pat Pong, I said, you don't know where Pat Pong is, he said, no, so I said, get out, I'll drive, <laughs> and he did, <laughs> he got out, he just shrugged his shoulder, got out, sat in the passenger seat, so I got in the driver's seat and just drove us to Pat Pong. So I'm walking down Ceylon Road towards Pat Pong Road. I haven't been to Pat Pong Road since 2004. So uh, yeah, I really don't know what to expect. Is this it? Is this Pat Pong 2? It looks dead. Wow, just trying to get my bearings. It's been so long. And this down here, there used to be a bar called uh, Mike's Place. This was the entrance to it down here. This was probably my favourite place. It's probably my most, the nearest I had to a regular bar on Pat Pong. Just not a sign of it now, is there? Just a door, that's it. Wow, how times have changed. Sorry, Yeah, maybe she's a strong one. <laughs> no, sorry. No, you know. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, not this time. Oh, dear me. Oh, it seems to be... Uh, Oh, this area has changed a bit. Oh, I'm not, not sure I want to go down here anyway. Now this massage place behind me now used to be a barber shop called Pens and Barbers and it used to be uh, quite famous, you know, they were always advertising in the, in the tourist magazines and I've got one really strong memory from this place. This is where I came to watch the 1990 World Cup semi-final, uh, England versus West Germany and of course it was, it was an emotional night, it was a, you know, it, it was a terrific game that went to penalties and I remember that I came here with some of my English teacher friends and, and, and it, it went to a penalty shootout and my friend literally, he just sat on the pavement over there, he, he, he left the, uh, the barbershop. You know, we went there because it was, it was a barbershop but it also was a bar and they had what in them days was the biggest TV we'd ever seen in our lives, you know, so we were watching it there. And he couldn't watch the penalty shootout, he was literally sitting, in the, sitting on the pavement over there. And, uh, and of course England lost and, uh, and it, you know, it, at the end of it, it was, a, it, you know, it was a good night in a way, but it was a very sad ending to the night. But there was a little, nice little twist in the tale because all us English teachers at the ECC in Siam Square, we'd had a sweepstake uh, and, you know, you get, you pull the name out of uh, the hat, they had all the football teams in the World Cup and I pulled out West Germany. So I think I won about 1,200 baht, which was, you know, it wasn't a bad amount of money in 1990. And I remember I had a great night out with that on Pat Pong Road the next day. I don't believe this walking down here so dark. Is this really Pat Pong Road I'm walking down? Oh, this is unbelievable, you know. It's, uh, well, we've got the King's Castle there. At least that's a name from the past, even if it's in a, a different location than it used to be. Wow. Wow, this is... Uh, this is one of the uh, one of the places where you come and uh, all your memories are shattered. Well, I just can't believe how quiet this place is. Oh, <laughs> and this place here called uh, Rose—they've still got the sign. That that used to be a really wild place. I've, I've got some. Uh, I've got a picture 
taken just outside this bar. Uh, really sad to see it that way. And I think next door used to be the uh, Star of Love, which later become the Star of Light on Pat Pong 2. Well, now this is the, uh, the King's Castle. The original King's Castle was over there, and then they moved it to over that side of the road, and I think that one was King's Castle too. So, uh, yeah, just trying to get my, my bearings, and there's just so many, so less bars than there were before, you know? Just quiet, used to, used to be busy all along, you know? And also the night market isn't here anymore. And uh, this is the first time I've seen Pat Pong without a night market since 1988. The night market appeared in 19, uh, 1989. And I think it's only just recently disappeared. Yeah, kind of strange, strange walking down here. Well now, just in the little section, the little alleyway that runs between Pat Pong 1 and Pat Pong 2, this has changed. All these little bars down here, all the upstairs ones used to be rip-off bars. And my very first night in Bangkok, I come here with my friend Adam. And uh, they used to have the guys come around showing you little menus with like different kinds of shows that were available. And of course, we ended up getting lured into a bar up there. And it was, you, you know, we... we we asked before we went in if there was any cover charge and they said no. But of course, when we went in there, we just sat down and had a beer each. And at the end of it, we asked for the bill and there was just loads of, you know, extra fees on it for, sh for shows and things like that. And of course, you know, like they, we just said, oh, well, no, we, you know, we can't pay it. And I think in the end, they worked out that we just didn't have enough money. We, we just <laughs> had no money. They just gave up. You know, we got out in the end for the price of our beers. But it is really actually quite sad seeing it this quiet, you know. There used to be, uh, I think it was the King's Lounge Disco right behind me now, you know. That was a really popular place. And maybe on the corner there was King's Castle too. Uh, yeah, a bit of a disappointment really. Oh no, this one's Superstars Bar. I think I've got some, uh, I've got some pictures taken outside this bar. It's really, it's really sad to see Pat Pong this way. Oh, and you see, oh, Safari Bar is closed now. <laughs> I, I used to come here after I finished teaching English on a Friday, and there, there used to be a lady in there who sort of like, you know, if, if uh, I paid her bar fine, you know, she was sort of happy to go along. She just, you know, she was just sort of bored with work, you know. So we used to. I used to come and meet her and, and take her out for dinner. It really doesn't look like it's changed much at all. You've got the original sign up there. That sign, I think, is exactly the same. But I think this used to be Grand Prix Bar. I think it was this bar. And, that, and Grand Prix Bar was the first go-go uh, bar in, in Bangkok. It closed in the early 90s. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, yeah it, was, it was a cool place. It had a nice little bit of history to it. I think Ren, it used to be the entrance to the Queen's Castle too, which was like a, a show bar. And they used to have all kinds of crazy stuff going on up there. And uh, I remember they had this little DJ booth where they'd have a DJ. And uh, you know, entire establishments, they always like to have a picture of the, of the King in the establishment. And I noticed that once they had a picture of the King in the DJ booth, but it was on the one corner that wasn't facing the stage so it was like there were all these things going on on the stage but the king was there but he couldn't see it <laughs> i used to see a lady who, who used to work in the queen's castle one of the showgirls and she had this uh, neat trick opening a beer bottle I'll, uh, I'll i'll say no more oh no she says peppermint the peppermint club and they, that above here used to be Peppermint Lounge, which was like a, a discotheque. And I just remember being there in, on my first trip in 1987. And we're sitting upstairs and, uh, and all of a sudden the police come in and then the music stops. <laughs> and, and then uh, the girl I was with explains to me what happened. She said, oh, don't worry, you know what I mean? There'll, there'll be an exchange. And then the music will start again, which is exactly what happened. And there used to be a, a go-go just upstairs on one of these, and it was uh, it was called Baby A Go-Go. And they, they used to have this kind of crazy show where they used to have a couple of volunteers would get on a, like a kind of big butler's tray, you know, this big trolley thing. And they, 
they'd be up to something while they wheeled this trolley around the go-go so everybody got a good look and while they're wheeling them around they were playing happy birthday on the loudspeakers and and this isn't a one-off this used to happen every night it was a, a crazy sign right i think i think that's what remains of the supergirl sign i'm not sure but uh, yeah yeah i think this was uh supergirls it was this big go-go bar uh that was upstairs and you just you used to walk in the front go up the stairs and they used to have like this this crazy show i think it was like 10 p.m or 11 p.m each night where the, the ceiling like was a full ceiling would open up and a harley davidson motorbike would be cut would come down or be lowered mechanically on a chain and uh, there'd be a couple of people on the on the harley davidson doing something that they probably shouldn't have been doing <laughs> and this wasn't a rare occurrence this used to happen every night well, I don't know what to say, Pat Pong Road, uh, first time I've been here for 17 years and uh, yeah, no, disappointment, uh, <laughs> it's just not what it was, you know, it, uh, you know, I'm not sure what it was like before the, uh, you know, the, uh, the situation started in 2020, but uh, the, the place is just devastated, it's what I remember it, you know, there's not, there's not a fifth of the bars here there used to be. Uh, yeah, I was actually warned by somebody that I probably would find it a disappointment and uh, yeah, I should have listened to him. Hey, and I'm just walking down the Sukhavit Road now towards Nana Plaza. And I'm going to meet up with somebody called Gob. Now, Gob is a, a Thai bar owner who I first met in 1988. But we haven't actually seen each other for 25 years. We kind of lost contact. And recently in Pattaya, I met a guy called Dave who knew Gob and he put us back into contact. So I'm really looking forward to meeting up with him. He owns a couple of bars now in the, uh, in the Soy 4 area. He owns a, a sports bar called Kickoff. And he owns a bar that he's owned for at least 20 years now called the Bangkokney. So it's going to be really great to catch up with him. Here we are, Sukhavit Soy Four. Nana Plaza. Now, the first time I came here in 1987, the place was absolutely dead. Uh, I can remember walking in and walking up and down the, the stairs, looking at some of the bars. I remember Woodstock Bar. The place was absolutely dead. Uh, about 1989, it really took off. And once it took off, there was no turning back. Right, I've just arrived at Kickoff Bar, and this is gone. I have known I have known God since 1988, and correct me if I'm wrong, but it was like it was our mutual friend, Mr. Graham, who who taught you how to speak Cockney. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. That's so Cockney. that's right. So and tonight, Mick Pontoni. Oh right. So and, and another guy, Jimmy Callahan. Jimmy Callahan. That name rings a bell. Yeah, you're not him, really. Yeah, he used to be prime minister, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Anyway, so tonight we're going to raise a glass to Mr. Graham, the man who put Cockney in the Bang Cockney. That now, Bang Cockney is one bar that got owns yeah, just, yeah, yeah. just down the road here in Soy 4. And this is his latest venture here, Kickoff. It's a swinging bar, sports bar. And you, you say you've owned this one for eight years? Eight years now. Eight years and 20 years of Bang Cockney. Okay, well, look, it's great to see you in Geek Gob. Hey, Mr. Nakrong Peng. Ho alai ma Mun Thai. Tamai ma Pakti Malaysia Hotel.